Hi, Philip Lake with the Highsticker.com here. Uh, I wanted to go over today one of the fastest ways you're going to find to uh, tie flies on while you're out on the stream, as well as uh, uh, tip it to leader connections and even leader to line connections. Um, and it's the greatest part is that it's it's using a tool that you probably already have hanging off your vest. Uh, it's just a pair of forceps. Um, super simple. Uh, I'm just going to use a, uh, a big eye hook here and uh, some black string to, to illustrate the process. Basically, uh, when you're on a stream, you're going to thread your, your tip of material through the eye of the hook, make a loop, grab the tag end, so you, you basically got this. Now you're going to take your forceps, insert it through the loop. You're going to do, I usually do between six and uh, eight turns. Sometimes it depends on the tip of material. If you're using really lightweight stuff, uh, 7X, um, you know, you, you want to do a little more than if you're using a larger thread or tippet. Uh, so you're just going to grab the tag end though with your forceps and pull it back through the loop. And then you're just going to grab the fly and pull on the, uh, the tippet material. It's basically making a cinch knot. Uh, and then of course just tip off, clip off the, uh, the tag end there. And just to kind of illustrate uh, how quickly it can be done in the field, I'm using a giant spay fly here. Um, and this is monofilament. I'm not. This the intent here isn't so you can see it. It's just to see how fast uh, you can do it. Um, so you just again insert that through there. A few turns. Grab the tag end. Pull it through. Cinch it down. Clip off the tag end, and you're done. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you. Same thing. It's, this is just. A, this would be a leader uh, to tippet connection. We'll just say that, uh, for sake of illustration, this is your leader material. You're gonna again make a loop, insert the forceps. This is the um, this would just be the leader, and you wouldn't wouldn't do anything with the tip of material just yet. Uh, so you make a few turns, pull it through, and just leave it loose. Uh, you're not going to finish the knot. You basically, just want to make sure that you have that loop there. Then you're going to take your tippet material. Same thing, loop forceps through, grab the tag end, pull it back through. Now you take the tippet material and you slide the entire knot assembly of your leader through the tippet material. So you've got this. Basically you cinch down the tippet material, insert the tag end of your tippet material through the loop in your leader, pull it down, pull both tight, and there's your knot. Of course, it's not going to be such a big knot uh, <laughs> with a leader and tippet, um, but you get the idea. Hope this is helpful. Uh, save you a ton of time on the stream, tying on flies, uh, tying on tippet material uh, to leader. And uh, I'm not going to go over the, the leader to fly line uh, connection. It's basically the same thing. A lot of times, though, I'll just uh, I'll leave the, um, the fly line straight um, and just make the, uh, the knot in the leader and slide it over top basically the, the fly line so there's just one cinch knot and I usually use zap a gap and just zap that down. Um, I've been using this for about 15 years now, uh, never, never really lost a fish uh, because of a failure in the knot. Um, just by nature of the cinch knot, uh, the, the more you fish it the stronger the knot gets. I still clip the uh, flies off after a few big fish and uh, retie on. But I think you'll find that this this is going to provide a lot of success for you and uh, be a lot easier to deal with. So, again, it's Phil with the High Sticker. Uh, check us out on thehighsticker.com. We have uh, some merchandise on there, some articles, uh, you know, some photos, and we're starting to uh, do some more underwater photography and things like that. I uh, hope to see you there. Take care.